A final question from Mohammed. Major General Olson, what do you think about the unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and UFOs? Well, this is a very hot topic, and I appreciate the question. I know, admittedly, unidentified aerial phenomena and task force is quite a mouthful in an acronym. You know, I've gotten that question a couple other times. You know, you know what do you think about UFOs or, or aliens? And, and quite frankly, is this... Uh, having flown um, 83 different airplanes and, and had lots of hours, we've all seen lots of unexplainable uh, elements. And, you know, the cosmos, the, 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 the space realm is so large. Uh, if we look at the, the Earth, it is this, you know, tiny blue dot in, a, in an unlimited, uh, almost incomprehensibly large cosmos. I personally believe that they're, they're absolutely, from a probability perspective, is, 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 is life out there. However, this task force is, is a very serious U.S. government approach to systematically investigating and understanding these because, of course, unidentified elements uh, present a national security concern, present a safety of flight, present a risk uh, that we must take and diligently pursue. But I think the, the, the question is, is, is actually more broadly put, and that is, is we will continue this effort, and in fact, I believe it will be getting more funding um, and, and, and more of a, a, a structural support level uh, within the department. But I also believe that this is part of our never-ending quest to learn and understand and explore. And as we have on our probes that have exited the solar system to uh, our probes to the moon, we have gone in peace to explore and discover, and we continue that yearning to see and discover, is there life out there, and what does that mean for humanity? And uh, secondly, off of UAPs, is there any cooperation with allies or partners on the UAP question and probe? Uh, thank you very much. I think the second part of your question uh, was related to UAP, or Unidentified Aerial uh, phenomenon and that UAP task force, um, and 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 as far as I'm concerned or, or, or am knowledgeable above about that, I do believe it does involve collaborative inputs and um, information exchange with all kinds of countries around the globe because I think these are not just uh, solely um, uh, actions or or or. or, or uh, uh, events that have occurred within the con uh, confines of the United States, they've, they've occurred globally. And I think we're collecting that information. Uh, we're sharing information. We view that as an open and transparent effort and activity through, uh, through the United States Congress and, and, and executed by our UAP task force office. And so I, 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 I would encourage greater uh, collaboration and cooperation in that. And particularly, I think as we see uh, various technologies that will help uh, demystify or debunk or clarify, um, but but I think it's also important. One of the one of the reasons that we are doing uh, this effort is because national security concerns are of paramount importance, and so is safety of flight and deconfliction and collision avoidance and uh, and issues to preserve and protect human life. So when we can uh, we when we can better share and exchange information. I think that's better, much like we do in the Inter International Civil Aviation Organization, or otherwise known as ICAO, uh, or in any other international bodies as well. I think there's a fertile and important opportunity to be pursued there.